What's the Buzz is all about what you're listening to, from the radio to streaming to podcasts. Right now, the options just seem endless, so how are you? getting your entertainment without a screen. Hmm, that's a good one. Well, joining us to talk about it, our friends of the show, Blaine Fowler, the co-host of Blaine and Lauren, Lauren Mornings on 96.3 WDVD, and Jason Hall with Ride Detroit. Thanks for hanging out, guys. What's Thank you. On? This is a good one, because you both are music people, you both are <laughs> entertainment people, media people. So do you listen to radio, streaming, or satellite for music? Clearly, I listen to radio. <laughs> Clearly, I recommend You think this guy listens to the radio? To 96.3. <laughs> WDVE. I don't know if you're aware which which camera. This one, that one. Oh, that one. Hi, Hi I'm Blaine Fowler. Listen tomorrow morning. We listen to radio up in here. Radio. Yeah, radio. I, for me, the radio will never get old because you'll hear things. Thank God. You, no, well, I promise you. But if streaming is your main source of music, how do you find new music without listening to the radio? That would be my question. What do you say? I, I don't listen to. You need to I don't listen on. to new music. I mean, I really, I try. I hear it on the radio. I mean, I really do. I, and I'm not trying to. Who do you be, listen to? Like, I'm not going to get in the camera. I'm being Blaine, honest. Blaine, I, I listen to Blaine. There we go. I listen That's to Blaine good. every day. Everyone's on the getting way. a check. No, I, I do. But no, I don't. I, new music just sort of weirdly trickles down. It trickles its way to me. I'm an old. I'm an older dude, so like a lot. <laughs> You're younger than me, man. So, Watch so it. a lot of the music I listen to tends to be older. I just can't. You know that new stuff. I'm just. I, I'm really okay with that, okay. actually. I'll get to my answer when you ask one of the upcoming questions. <laughs> <All right. laughs> actually, there's some fun I mean, Okay, so let me, let me say this. Hobie, what do you listen to? Let me ask I, you. I, I will go a different route with streaming. So mm -hmm. if I'm streaming something, I'm kind of like Jason. I will find an artist that I like, and if it's on Pandora or something, I'll go to yeah. their station, mm -hmm. and that'll help me branch out to different people. Yeah, yeah that right. are that's, similar that's to happened what to me. you like. Yeah, exactly, absolutely. and that way it kind of all connects together, yeah. and it's also I can kind of step toward a new artist. There you go. All right, so let's get into something that I love, podcasts. <laughs> all right, so I love The Cut. Do you guys familiar with that one? No. It's really good. You're missing out. All right. Check out the one. It's called, like, um, A Million Men, and it's about how this woman got catfished by her own boyfriend. Oh Crazy God. story. Wow. It's really good. <laughs> Do you listen to podcasts? Let me tell you, when I was like, wait, what? It's good. It's good. It's, anyways, Is this the whole podcast about this one thing? Not just, well, no, this particular episode. Was okay, so about, it was a different yeah. episode. It was three different about. stories, but this one woman's story? I was like, it's worth it. listening to. It's, it's very good. It's true good. It's a true story. It's a true story. True story. So, podcast, yes, okay. no. Yeah, no, I, I'm down with the podcast. I, I mean, I, we, I work I'm in a bike shop, man. So, so like anytime we can just like put something on and let it run, yeah. you know, I'm down for that. You know what I mean? But I, I tend to listen to more technical, like computer nerdy stuff, you know, Marquis Brownlee and stuff like that. I don't know who that is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I listen to, there are two podcasts that I like. I, by the way, honestly, and this is going to sound like a bitter radio guy, most podcasts suck. Ooh. People don't know how to tell stories. It's true. It's real. It's a That's skill real. Set. It, there is a certain is a beginning, a middle, set. and end. Yes. Right? Um, yes. But my favorite podcasts are Justin Hawkins Rides Again. Okay. He's the lead singer from The Darkness, and he and that's where I get a lot of my new music things. Because he's always like, oh, here's the new song from so-and-so. Right. And he goes all over the place. He'll do pop, rock, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, Rick Beato is a former music producer, and he, he's a real nerd, and he gets into the weeds on music, which is really interesting. And again, big music guy. Uh, Robert Plant, there's one that he did, the former lead singer of Led Zeppelin, called Digging Deep, where he talks about songs from all over his career, Led Zeppelin, solo stuff, whatever. Ooh. Nice. Fascinating nice. stuff. He and Allison Krauss together have been great. Yeah. yeah. I mean, w there's a guy who's like reinvented himself a bunch of times. Yeah. You know? Good it's stuff. Pretty cool. I like that. I like that. Let's calm things down now. Would you rather. <laughs> oh, are we going to do NPR? We will talk about like books right now. <laughs> Seriously, though, do, do you take into consideration listening to audiobooks or would you rather just pick up a book and actually read them? I'm, I'm a pick up an actual book person. Yeah. Oh, come on, Jason. No, listen, I was that guy, and t but like l lately I've been, I'm, I have to read a lot of books. Mm -hmm. and so I got to get them in, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So like audio just kind of like helps that out, you know what I mean? When yeah. I can sit down and read a book, yeah, that's cool, but like, mm -hmm. no. Lots if you're of reading for relaxation, pleasure. Absolutely pulling a book out mm -hmm. okay. reading that, not putting in headphones. But if it's something having to do with work, you're going to listen. Ab okay. There it is. Yep. There it there is. We go. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Get through it. Yeah, yeah I get it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a good audiobook can be a night. It depends on what you're in the mood for. I really I've never like, listened right? to an audiobook. Really? No, I've never listened to one. Okay. You Maybe can. I need a branch Just out. Try Here it, we go. Try it out. Try it out. 
So do you listen to or have you listened to comedy shows or albums? And do you feel like that they're funnier than live specials? I love comedy, mm -hmm. so I would listen to an album. I'll go to a comedy show. I'll watch mm -hmm. a Netflix special, whatever. Uh, um, I did when I was a kid. Okay. That was a long time ago. Oh man, we came <laughs> up. We came up on the comedy <laughs> album, man. You know what I mean? Like Red Fox on oh my album. Gosh. You wow. know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Richard Pryor on album. So I, I'm. I can always listen to a comedian. I choose that actually over that because it lets me just sort of go there in my mind. Right. You kind of create your own visuals yeah. as you're you listening know what I'm to saying? Them, tell the mm -hmm. stories. I could see that. How about you? I love comedy. I, I, I love comedy specials, but I, I like having. The visual. the visual too, yeah, because yeah. so many comics, especially over the last 25, 30 years, get involved in their routines. That's right, and, there's and, a physical, and, and, yeah. And the physical aspect That's of true. it, and the way they convey their jokes, it's... Yeah, the facial yeah. expression. The yes. Yeah. The yes. Sebastian yeah. Maniscalco is a great example. There's a guy who's very funny, audio alone, mm -hmm. but to see it... Yeah. He does these expressions on his face that you can't, you can't duplicate that yeah, with yeah, audio. Yeah, 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 so favorite comedy... Person. Favorite com I favorite say. comedian? Mm. Yeah, come on. Stop. Come on. Currently. Oh, mm. oh, oh, currently. Yeah, currently. currently. Oh, Dave. Uh, yeah, Dave. The goat. Go. Yeah, he is. I probably go Sebastian Maniscalco. Okay. Yeah. He cracked I'm with up. Jason. Dave. Dave's great. Dave. Oh, okay. Dave. Yeah, yeah them, dude, I had an answer, but Dave is up there. Dave. Dave, <laughs> Joe Coy, who is hilarious. Joe is hilarious. I think Chris Rock is hilarious. I gotta think. I like Jim Gaffigan. Jim Gaffigan. Yeah. I mean, Jim Gaffigan's Come on. funny. I mean, there's a ton of them, but you asked me my favorite. I mean, you gotta talk about the man. <laughs> yes. Frank no? Caliendo. He can do You like, wanna talk expressions. There's a guy oh, who can do right. impressions all day long. It's impressive, yeah. All right, well, there you have it. Pick up an audio book, stream something, listen to the radio. Yes. The radio. Which Every, one? Uh, 96.3 <laughs> WDVD. Too funny, too funny. Thanks for hanging out. I owe out, you guys, guys big money. It's always a good time. <laughs>